So I've been using Vim for months now, and it's gotten to the point where I can use it to accelerate my workflow and make me way faster. This is an old CSV file containing Pokemon data. I would like to use it for a future project, but it has some problems. The first problem is it's clearly not order based on their Pokedex entry. I would like it to be order to make it easier to use in my future projects. Second of all, some Pokemon have their entries with an underscore. I don't like that, and I would like to replace it with a uh, decimal point. And finally, I would like to add some new data. So using Vim and some Linux commands, we are going to do this. First of all, we're going to add the new data. And this is just simply going to be form. We're going to indicate whether a Pokemon has a form. For example, Mega Salamence and Salamence, they're different forms of the same Pokemon. And I want to indicate them. But since every Pokemon doesn't exactly have a form, I'm going to place a placeholder. The easiest way to do this is to make a macro and then apply it to every line. So we're going to define that macro and register W. We're simply going to append and do and write false. And that's it. And now we're going to apply this macro to every line using uh, range. So we're going to apply to three and there's 932 Pokemon. And we're just going to, we're going to use norm, which allows us to use uh, a normal command as an in command mode as in we as we if we were in normal mode and then just gonna do 9 932 which is the total amount of Pokemon lines we have here and norm at W as you can see here we now have a extra placeholder here just to fill in the data but we we want to correct that data to match if a Pokemon actually has a form and thankfully, this CSV file gives us um, a, a way to do that using this underscore. So we're going to create a macro. And we're going to test it on, th on this alone and eradicate first. So what do we want to do? We're going to first define this macro in um, register E. And simply what we're going to do is go to the end of the line, go backwards to the first uh, last comma, delete everything, append, and write true. And that should be a macro. We're going to test this using at E, and as you can see, it works. So this is our macro, and we defined it. The next thing we're going to use is the global command. The global command um, is just G, and it takes a literal string, so like 20 ash 1 at norm. We're going to use norm again at E, and I'll apply it to a literal string. It, it, like, it will perform an, an action based on a literal string. But since there's so many numbers, we're not going to be able to, like, we don't want to keep typing that number like that exact number. So we're going to use a, like the other option the, the global command t t takes is a pattern. This pattern is defined by regular expressions. So we're going to define a regular expression that would allow us to easily um, apply the macro to a pattern. So you can see here the data or Pokemon entry is on the start of the line. It has some number of digits and underscore another digit indicating how many forms for example um, shaman has a sky form in its normal form or no I mean mega charger has mega charger X and mega charger Y that's two different forms so sometimes they have different numbers and we're going to use this information followed by a comma to uh, correctly apply this macro so let's do it so the first thing we want to do is do the caret sign that means at the start of a line we're going to define a block because we want to use it for later operations. It's going to be useful. And it's going to be 09 that just represents a uh, digit. We're going to use asterisk to tell them that we want to search for any number of occurrences. And then we're going to end the block. We're going to also um, do the underscore because that's what we want to actually search for. And we're going to define another block just to make it more secure. We can also use a 
uh, backslash D for digit. But in case we ever want to change it, we're going to use this. Um, and this should be our, wait, and then the comma, just to make it more secure. And this should be our macro. So we're going to do at norm, at register E. And this should apply this the macro on all the lines that have an underscore at the start of their Pokemon entry or in their Pokemon entry. And let's see, as you can see here, it correctly applied the macro. For example, Oshawa has a false, the Mega Odino has true. We're almost done now. We just need to um, correct the underscore to a correct um, decimal point. And we can do that by editing our previous command. Uh, I'm sorry. Here, I'm sorry for uh, my screencast. You know, it's gonna probably block this. So, um, so first of all, we're gonna use percent s. I'm gonna try to fix this. Percent s. Okay, that's much better. Percent s. We're gonna use the. We're gonna use the same. Um, pattern well per, yeah substitution takes a pattern and now we want to replace it with the thing we want to actually substitute with so this is our pattern and we want to and since we we use block or previously defined blocks vim allows us to use those blocks in our next substitution using a uh, backslash and then a number uh, and that number corresponds to your block for example the this block before the underscore is is block number one because we defined it first so we can use backslash one to represent that um block and i'm going to put a comma because i want to replace it um that underscore with a comma i'm going to put backslash two because it's the second block and all the all the blocks are just going to do is just going to keep the data uh as if we're in the block but it'll just replace it it will just replace it with a uh, period and comma and if we also want to put a comma just to make it more secure. And then we're just going to um, test it out just to see if it works. And we're going to put change. As you can see, it worked. A low and radicate. Uh, wait. Yep. Yeah, a low and radicate. Now it has a underscore instead of a comma. I mean, it has a decimal point instead of a comma. So we're just gonna put G because now we know this works, and if, I'm not gonna do this. So, so now I'm just gonna use this previous command, but except put global. And as you can see, Primal Kyogre or everything has a decimal point now, and. Now we're in the final step. We can finally um, filter this. We are using Vim's filters. We can use the sort command to sort this correctly. So we're gonna do is like we're gonna visually select everything. Gonna use the filter command or exclamation and do simply sort. Sort takes. Uh, there's an option in sort which I really like called um or which is h flag and it's right here i'm just gonna search for it here we go h flag which is a human numeric sort and basically it just sorts according to human standard and we want to use that because it makes it easiest so we're going to use uh, sort.h, which is an external command, and we're going to use it on Vim. And as you can see here, it got filter. Now everything is correct location. We have 932 Pokemon with their correct data, new added data. And thanks to Vim, this only took less than like 10 minutes. If I had another text editor or something else, I would have had to click at the end of the line and had to manually edit everything, it would have been a lot of work.
However, just for if I don't know, I would not suggest switching to Vim unless you have time or are really committed. I would I would instead suggest finding tools in your current workflow or like actually learning your tools in your current workflow to make your life easier. Vim is just one of the tools that allows me to do that. Thanks for watching.